When I started speaking out a year, just over a year ago today, I knew that OSA were going to come after me. I knew there were going to be attacks left, right and centre. I knew that OSA were going to do everything within their power to try and stop me speaking out, slur my name, make a hate website and all the other stuff that we all know that they do all day, every day. What I didn't sign up for is this shit, right? Please excuse my French. And this is the only video I'm going to do about this because, quite frankly, I've had enough. Right. And yes, I'm a little bit angry. I've stood firm all this time with my channel. My channel is about giving people a platform to speak about their experiences inside Scientology and other cults. My channel is about my activism and the work that I'm doing to try and help people suffering from abuse in Scientology, shedding a light on it, doing what I can to raise awareness and you know, spread the word. That's what my channel is about. I'm not a channel that covers or comments on other activities that other people are doing on other channels, on their goings on, the protests in LA, for example, which are fantastic. I'm not commenting on that because my focus specifically is the fight here in the UK. There are lots of channels out there commenting on what other people are doing and other people's content. And that's fantastic. There's absolutely a place for that. But that's not what my channel is about. So I'm going to do this one video and this one video only where I'm going to talk about everything that's been going on over the last couple of months, the last couple of weeks specifically, and the last couple of days. And that's going to be all you're going to hear from me on my channel here about this, because my channel is about helping people and helping expose the abuses that is currently going on inside Scientology right? If you want to ask me about anything, if you want me to talk about anything that's not covered here in the live chat, email me. I'm more than happy to reply to people's emails. If people want me to appear on their channels, I'm more than happy to do that. But I'd like to note first and foremost that no channel has asked me to be on and ask my thoughts on any of this or ask me to interview me or have me on a live or anything. So that will be a possibility. I'm happy to do that. But this channel is all about the activism and the work here in the UK. And this is why I haven't addressed most of these things. And this is why I won't address most of these things. But this is the one video you guys are going to get. Firstly, I'd like to say that if you don't support me or you don't like me or you have a problem with me, that's absolutely fine. I don't care. <laughs> to be quite frank, I'm not here because I want viewers or subscribers or followers or anything of the like. If I wanted to create a channel that would be popular and it would make me famous and I'd be a YouTube creator and an influencer, I would have done that years ago. For those of you who don't know, I work in the entertainment industry. My mother is a highly successful musician that is responsible for a number of people we see in the number one charts today. <laughs> Excuse me. My mother is responsible for a number of number one musical artists who are in the charts today. I work in the entertainment industry, working behind the stage, backstage, on bars with artists and so on. I have so much celebrity gossip and drama and news. If I wanted to do and if, if I wanted to become an influencer or become famous or or any of that, I would create a channel about all of that. And the reason I haven't is because I have far better things to worry about. I really don't want to be the famous influencer, whatever these other things that people have been accusing me of wanting to be. If I wanted to do that, I would have done it already. I would have done it quite successfully and I would have done it by other means. I am here for one reason and one reason only. And that is because I want to expose the abuse that is currently going on right now in Scientology in every country in which it operates. Every single city in the world that has a Scientology organization has people who are working for the Church of Scientology under false pretenses. They are being lied to. They're being manipulated. They are being abused just through the practice of Scientology in and of itself is harmful, in my opinion. My job here is to report on the work that I'm doing behind the scenes to try and take this motherfucking cult down and to give other people a platform to share their experiences. I spoke earlier this week at a talk in Brighton. If you haven't watched it, 
please go and watch it. I think it's, uh, you know, it was an interesting talk. It took a lot to write. Um, I go into more depth and more explanation and more description than I ever have before about my experience, why I got into Scientology, how I got in, my state of mind. I talked about what it was that was the catalyst for me speaking out and why I then joined YouTube. I've shared bits and bobs here and there, but I went into more depth and more detail than I ever have before. So please go and check that out. It's been a lot for me to come to terms with that journey and for me to stand in front of 40 people in public in the real world and for the first time ever share about the fact that I tried to kill myself and that was the catalyst that made me realise how much of a problem Scientology was still in my mind and that kick-started that process of recovery. I shared that for the first time earlier this week and it's taken me a few days to get over that and think about how I feel about that. It's out there in the public now, I've said it. But ultimately, my point here is that it's not about me, okay? I am not here because I want to be an influencer. I want it to be about me and my story and so on. When I first joined YouTube, I started talking about my experience. Obviously, people asked to hear what my journey was like in Scientology. So I shared it. And if anyone wants me on their channel and wants me to talk through my story with them, I would be more than happy to appear on pretty much any channel talking about my journey and my experience in Scientology. But that's not why I'm here. Everything that I do is always about the people who are currently in Scientology suffering from abuse. It's from the people who have had traumas far worse than mine. Every time I speak about the trauma and abuse that I suffered in Scientology, I always, without a fail, follow that with I had it lightly. I had a bad experience, yes, and I was traumatised by it, yes. I don't want a single person to go through what I went through in Scientology. I always, without a doubt, every single time, follow that with this little clause. I can't even imagine what it was like for the people who had it worse. There are people who were disconnected from their families. There are people who were forced to have abortions. There were people who were locked up in the hole. There were people who were beaten physically by David Miscavige himself. Plus, many, many, many more examples of how Scientology destroys lives and causes mass trauma and major issues for a number of people. Every single person that comes into contact with Scientology is damaged in some way, shape or form. I always make it very clear when talking about my trauma that I had it very lightly and there are people who had it far worse off than me. And that is exactly why I'm speaking out. Because I have a small glimpse here, a small opportunity to raise awareness, right? And do what I can to make things right. As director of public book sales at the Church of Scientology in London, it was my job to recruit people and bring people in. I've always said that without a shadow of a doubt, there are people who are still in Scientology today because of me jo like recruiting them, selling them books and so on. That's a hard thing to come to terms with. Even worse, the other week for March 13th, LRH's birthday, I held a protest outside London Org. I saw someone there in staff uniform who was on staff today, 10 years after I left, who I recruited. There is someone on staff now, 10 years later, that is there because I told them to go in and I told them to rejoin staff and I told them it's the best thing they could do with their life. I live with that daily. And what I'm trying to do here is what I can to make that right. I helped people get into Scientology and now I want to help people get out. It's not about me. It's not about my story. It's about the people who are currently suffering because of Scientology. I will share my story. Of course I will. I have shared my story before. But there's a lot flying around about why I'm doing this and it's all about me. No, let me point you to two key facts here. When I held the protest in November out for the IES event outside St. Hill, we made the Daily Mail. It was one of the most read articles on The Guardian. 
it was international press. There is not a single picture in any of those articles in which I'm present. The journalists who are covering this story all asked me for an interview. They wanted my quotes. And yes, I supplied them with answers to their questions, which are quoted in the articles. But I'm not featured in a single picture. Why? Because I wanted to make sure that the story and the photos and the pictures is all about the protest. It's about the people there standing all day, all night for three days with their placards, with their signs. Jeff Beaumont, PTS for Life, flew all the way from Canada. It's about the people who are protesting. It's about the people we were trying to reach, the people who are currently suffering abuse because of Scientology. Not about me. There's not a single news article that you can find with a picture of me on it because I've tried to make it so focused on the mission, not on me. The number of news articles, like newspapers, magazines, media requests that I've had over the last six months, particularly asking for an exclusive. I've been offered money. Hey, can we pay you for an exclusive to tell your story? No, no, you can't. Because I'm t I've told my story on YouTube, I will continue to do the same. I've just signed a book deal, and that book will be about my journey and my experience. But the press that I'm trying to achieve and the press I'm trying to get is not about me. The press that I'm trying to get is about the issue, is about the problem, is about Scientology, not about my story and my journey in Scientology. I'm using my limited experience in Scientology and using that to try and further the aims of what I'm trying to do here on my channel. My aim isn't to become famous or to become an influencer or to become, uh, you know, some YouTube god. I use YouTube as a platform to promote and talk about what I'm doing behind the scenes. I work almost full time on this right now. And the majority of stuff I can't talk to you about. I can't share it with you. I've had a number of phone calls this week with investigators, government officials, things going on behind the scenes that I can't share with you. That's what I'm doing all day, every day. And I use YouTube to promote those things as and when I can, and as and when it's appropriate. I don't come on here on YouTube all day, every day. Hold on. Sorry. Hold Andrew. You brought this on yourself to crawl to Stephanie with your hurt feelings and have her attack you for it in a class as clueless blog. Not looking good, bro. Too bad because I like what you're doing. Well, Andrew, you can swiftly fuck off. That's my attitude tonight, and I'm not even sorry for it. Regarding Stephanie, I didn't know that article was going to going up. I didn't ask her to uh, put that article up. She texted me a day or so before going, hey, did you ever know Aaron smith Evan when you were in Scientology? And what years were you in? And I said, no, I didn't know Aaron. And these were the years that I was in. She said, thank you. The next thing I know, the article's gone up, right? And my point, first and foremost, is free speech. I lived a small portion of my life as a teenager um, dealing with uh, controlling the narrative and free speech and what I can and can't say and what isn't isn't public, right? So for those of you asking why I haven't asked Stephanie to take the blog post down is for the same reason I haven't asked Aaron to take down the video where he's hating on me because we live in a world where you can have opposing opinions and you can say what you want, a blog, a YouTube, whatever. The whole purpose of this is that you can say what you want to say. That's fine. Whether you're for or against me, doesn't matter. Stephanie has every right to say anything that she wants on her blog, just as I have the same right to say anything that I want to say on my YouTube and on my blog and Aaron on his channel. Absolutely fine. I'm not here to comment on other people's, uh, you know, videos or content and activism, blah, blah, blah. That's not why I'm here. And that's why I don't talk about it on my channel. This is is the one chance you guys get to ask me these sorts of questions because I'll cover them in this video, but I'm not doing it any further because that's not why I'm here. I'm not going to ask Stephanie to remove it because I'm not the person to control the narrative. We're not in a cult. We're not in Scientology. We're in this world now where we can say what we want and people can agree or disagree. Just like watching my channel, you guys can agree or disagree. You guys can like me, not like me, 
follow me, not follow me, whatever. To be totally quite frank and honest with you, I couldn't give two shits. I don't fucking care, right? Because I'm not here to win over people's minds and hearts. I'm here to raise awareness of the fact that there are people currently at St. Hill in East Grinstead who are, for all intents and purposes, modern slaves. They cannot leave the property without permission. They're not allowed to own mobile phones. They're not allowed to drive their own cars. They're not allowed to go where they want to go, when they want to go. They're not allowed to go and go shopping on, in the town centre for their groceries because everything's provided for them. They can be moved to a different country at, at a drop of a hat because that is what human trafficking is, is about. And that is what Scientology is currently doing. That's why I'm here. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I recently met with Diane Abbott, who is my local MP. She is the former Shadow Home Secretary. Uh, she is a very well-seasoned and well-positioned politician who has dealt with decades of abuse. She was the first elected female member of parliament, black female member, mem sorry, first elected black female member of parliament. And she's on our side. I didn't just write to her and think, oh, great, you know, got this standard textbook response. No, she wrote back and said, I've already requested an investigation with the tax office into Scientology's finances for fraud. I've met with Diane Abbott. I continue working with her team on a strategy, on a plan behind the scenes that will all come out very, very soon. If you look at the recent Charity Commission at Narcanon situation, Shanti Das, who is a journalist for The Guardian Observer, uh, she contacted me back in May last year and we met up for a coffee. We continued the conversation over an extended period of time. She was looking into Narcanon and the abuses that are going on at Narcanon here in the UK. I helped her with that article. It was very much her investigation and she did an amazing job. But the result of that article is that the Charity Commission are now investigating Narconon. I've had multiple meetings with people all along the spectrum and all along this journey. Not once is my name mentioned in any of these articles in The Observer or The Guardian about this Narconon thing because it's not about me. It's about the message. It's about what's important. It's about exposing the abuse. If I wanted it to be about me, trust me, I would be going about this in a very, very different way. Like I said, I have multiple opportunities to come on YouTube and create a channel that's all about me. And I could be very good at spinning all the celebrity goss and all this sort of stuff. Boy, do I have a lot of celebrity goss. But I'm not doing it because that's not why I'm here. One thing a lot of people have been saying in reference to Stephanie's article and other things that have been going out and about all, all over the place is that I'm doing things the right way. I'm doing things better than they're doing in America. And to be quite frank, I disagree with all of that rhetoric. I don't think there is a right way or a wrong way to protest Scientology. Everybody that is here on this journey is contributing in their own way and every single person's own way has merit. Whether you're standing on the streets shouting at Sea Org members as they go into work every day, I think that that's probably not the nicest way of going about it, but that doesn't mean your efforts are invalid. Standing there stopping people walking in to the test centre in LA, fantastic, you're stopping people joining. Standing on the streets of London, shouting, pip pip cheerio, Scientology's got to go. That has its own merit. There are lots of people contributing to this cause. Watching videos, commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing stuff on social media. Every single person plays an important role and it's a multi-pronged attack. There's no right way or wrong way. I'm not doing it the right way and other people are doing it the wrong way. I'm doing it my way, the way that I thought is was best and the way that I see fit. That doesn't mean someone else can't come along and do it their way. In fact, if someone else in the UK wants to take this over and continue doing what I've been doing, I will more than happily share everything that I've been doing over the last year or, or so 
with this new person and hand over the reins. I have much better things to be doing with my life. The fact is no one's doing it. And that's fine. People can proactively engage in the activism in whichever way they see fit. If you just comment or like or subscribe or share, that is contributing in the fight against Scientology and that is helpful. That has merit. That has value. And I thank you for that. But the thing is, there's not many people speaking out in the UK. In fact, there's not many people in the UK in comparison to America, especially when you look at the Scientology statistics. What I'm trying to do is shed a light on what's going on in Scientology right now and do what I can to put an end to that abuse. I might not get things right. I sometimes get things wrong. Of course, we all do. We're all human, right? But there is no right way or wrong way. If there was a bunch of SPTV creators in the UK and they were all protesting all day, every day outside all of the orgs, please, I welcome that. Come and do that because it's a lot for me to take on my own out here. I have the support, yes, of a bunch of people who have shown me support in the real world by coming to all these protests in London at St. Hill and so on and really, really helped me and been standing there alongside me shouting what we want to shout during these protests. And I couldn't do it without those people. But if someone else wants to come along and start organizing protests, please be my guest. It'd make my life a lot easier. <sighs> I just take a breather. When I first started speaking out against Scientology, I knew that OSA would come after me. OSA have released statements to the press on multiple occasions, attacking me, saying I'm a bigot, I'm making it all up. Uh, you know, I, I was only in for a couple of weeks. Whatever it is, their excuse is. I knew that, that was going to happen. I've got private investigators sat outside my house right now. I have people tweeting me daily about how I'm a butthurt, religious bigot, clout chaser, grifter, fraud, liar, all this sort of stuff. You know what? I don't care because I don't care what they think. And I know that that's what's going to happen. But what I didn't expect and what I didn't sign up for is what I woke up to this morning. This morning, I woke up to a bunch of notifications on my YouTube. A number of various tweets, in fact, not tweets, sorry, comments. I'm going to just share my screen because, you know, name them and shame them and all that, right? So this is a sort of comment that I had this morning on my channel. Fake victim. Con man. Bro, you are a grifter of the highest order. Clearly, Alex is stirring the pot. I didn't sign up for that shit. I'm certainly not stirring the pot. This is the first and only video that I'm doing about all of this shit because my channel is only about the message. Breathe. I didn't, I signed up for it in terms of OSA attacks and all of that, I knew that was going to happen. But what I didn't sign up for is for people to be commenting on my videos saying I'm a fake victim and all of this. There is no such thing as compared trauma, right? We all have our own trauma. We all have our own abuse. We all have our own stories. And it all affects us differently. There isn't a uniform way of recovering from trauma. Everybody is different. We're human. We're unique and trauma affects different people in different ways. I didn't sign up to being called a fake victim because I'm not. I was in Scientology. I was traumatized by my experience in Scientology. I left Scientology and compartmentalized it, shut it away in my brain because it was too much to handle. So I didn't think about it. I moved on with my life. Nine years later, I realized it was still affecting me. I tried to kill myself. At that point, I thought maybe I should do some work on this, started to see a therapist and started unwrapping and looking into all of this, this deepest, darkest corners of my mind I hadn't explored for nine years and found out that I was deeply, deeply unhappy. 
this is something that I've been working on for 18 months and continue to work on. But there's no merit, value or purpose or benefit in any way, shape or form in comparing my trauma and my experience to another person's trauma or experience because they are vastly different. I've never tried to claim that my story, my abuse, my trauma is worse or even on the same level as people like Mike, Mark, Claire, you know, Amy Scobie, all of these people who have spoken publicly about being in the hole in Los Angeles, beaten physically by David Miscavige and many, many others. There are people who grew up in Scientology who had no um, say in their upbringing and their choice of faith. My experience is very different to those people's experiences. But you know what I'm not doing is comparing them because we all have our own experience. And when I signed up for the OSA attacks and so on, I did not sign up for people calling me a fake victim. And I will not stand for that. Breathe. Let's look through some of these comments. Laura Waldy, thank you so much for your gifted memberships. Guys, if you want to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. YouTube take 30% of all of the super chats and memberships and all of that sort of stuff. Buy me a coffee, take like 2% or something. So if you want to support, please consider buy me a coffee and PayPal and all of that stuff. Boo, thank you so much for your super chat. Haters gonna hate Alex. Everyone sees Aaron's sociopathy. I mean, he grew up in a cult, right? Keep doing what you're doing, brother, and don't take notice. Well, look, I decline to comment on that about Aaron because, again, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm not I'm not a therapist. I'm not a mental health expert. And it's certainly not for me to judge or, uh, other people's channels or other people and whether they're sociopaths or psychopaths or, you know, going to uh, therapy to seek help for their trauma or not. Like, who ca like, that's not what I'm here to do. People are entitled to their own opinions. And I can agree. I can disagree just like you guys can agree and you can disagree. But what you cannot do is expect me to react in a certain way or do something in a certain way, because that's what you guys want to see. If you guys support me and my mission and you like my channel. You'll follow me because you'll realize that I'm focused on the eyes on the prize, right? Doing what I can behind the scenes to help stop the abuse in Scientology. If you want the drama, if you want commentary on other people's channels and their content, fine. There are plenty of channels out there that do that, and that's fantastic for them, but that's not why I'm here. Michelle Carpenter, thank you so much for the super chat. Alex, anyone who understands how OSA selects targets and uses assets and exercises critical thinking knows what's really going on in SPTV. I'm so proud to be working with you and others focused on the cause. Thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate that. And look, I'm not having a go at you guys here in the chat who have been supportive of me. I get so many emails all day, every day with people supporting and saying, what can I do to help and all of that? And I'm really, really, truly thankful for that. And I do really appreciate it. But I just want to make it very, very clear. Danger Man, Alex, I'm not sure what this stream is trying, trying to achieve. Well, Danger Man, I'm not sure what the fuck you're trying to achieve. So fuck off into forever. Goodbye. You're blocked. Thank you. See, I'm angry. <laughs> you guys don't see this part of me very often. <laughs> Quite funny, really. Ah, oh, Alex, what are you doing? No, look, okay. What am I trying to achieve with this stream? I don't fucking know. I've just had enough, right? I'm here trying to do what I can to help and to raise awareness and use the short platform, the small opportunity, the small window I have uh, to do what I can. Chris Shelton, I'm angry, real angry. Well, actually, yes. Here we go. Well, buddy, you got it. Right here, right now. I'm angry, real angry. TV gold. I'm angry, real angry. Um, no, look. What am I trying to achieve with this stream? I don't know, right? I'm here because I've had enough, right? I didn't sign up to be called a uh, a fake victim. I didn't sign up to have other people assess or judge how much of trauma I had or didn't have, right? The truth of the matter is this. 
at the beginning of this week, I first spoke in so much detail than I ever have before about why I got into Scientology. The tragic number of unfortunate losses of life in my upbringing. Someone died every year. Every single year during my secondary school experience. I lost a lot of friends. There was a lot of grief, a lot of trauma there. Scientology came in and said, oh, we can help you with that. I didn't watch the BBC Panorama documentary and hear of all this abuse and think, sign me up. Far from it. I saw these adverts and thought, you know, there's this reporter screaming at this guy in Scientology. And, you know, maybe this guy's not, um, you know, maybe he's not quite as unbiased as he wants to seem. I also believe that you shouldn't just believe and follow everything that you see and read in the media at face value. I wanted to do my own research. So I went in, I did a personality test. And the thing that a lot of people are forgetting is that Scientology is manipulative. It uses gaslighting. It uses coercive control. It is a cult. So yes, I went in having had a small exposure through the BBC Panorama documentary about fair game. I didn't know about all of the abuses and that sort of thing that's going on at every level of every Scientology organization. I went in, I said, what's this about this? What's this about disconnection? What's this about blah, blah, blah? They give you an answer. They make you feel heard. They make you feel valued. And they plant the seed of doubt. Maybe what you've heard isn't completely true. Maybe there's a grain of truth, but it's got twisted. Maybe it's not quite as it seems. If you want to learn about Christianity, you'd go and read a Bible. Great. So if you want to learn about Scientology, come and do a life improvement course. That's how it starts. And that's how Scientology get people in. It's a coercive group. I fell victim to that because I was in a vulnerable point in my life as a teenager. I was 15 when I first did my OCA, Oxford Capacity Analysis. I then started doing my first life improvement course. And four months later, I turned 16 in the April. I then joined staff over the summer. And I ended up leaving staff, being kicked out, rejoined. You know the story. I've told it many, many times before. <sighs> but ultimately, it took me a long time to process and realize the impact that it had on me. And I'm still processing that today. About 18 months ago, I was still scared to even Google Scientology. In fact, if you go on my Reddit page, Stealth Orange One, I think is my username on Reddit. If you go on my Reddit and scroll all the way back, you will see, I think it was 2018, I did an AMA. I went on Reddit under this pseudonym. No one knew it was me. And I said I was a staff member. Ask me anything about Scientology. If you read those responses from just a few years ago, you can see how much of a struggle it is still in my head. I was justifying some of the abuse. I was justifying some of the horrors. And I was trying to make excuses for Scientology and defend it in some weird and wonderful way. I don't think like that now. And I'm here to stand up and shout from the rooftops about the abuse that's going on. I helped people get into Scientology. Now I want to help people get out. It takes time. 18 months ago, I Googled Scientology for the first time in 10 years. At that point, I became very, very aware of what's going on and what other people are reporting. And at that point, I delved down the rabbit hole and here we are today. It's been a rough ride, but you have to remember, it's only 18 months ago. And this is something that takes a long time for people to heal from. Cat and Maggie, thank you for the super chat. Here's a pint at your local. Some days you just have to vent. Thank you. I appreciate that. And as I said, if you guys want to buy me a pint and all that stuff, please use buy me a coffee with the link down below because you two take 30%. But thank you. I do appreciate that. 
Boo, please make your own charity. I can't trust Aaron Smith Levin with my money. Well, look, thank you for the super chat. And like I said, I'm not here to trash other creators. I think Aaron is doing great things in raising awareness and bringing more people into the fight and getting more people aware of what's going on. And I have said this before, and I'll say it again. I support anybody and everybody who is trying to tackle Scientology. I support everyone. Even if you don't like me. Even if you've done an attack video. Even if you've done videos about how horrible I am and how I'm lying about my story and all of that, doesn't matter because I can put my personal differences aside and still support you because I support you in what you're trying to do, which is the same as me, which is to stop suffering. As for my own charity, yes, I mentioned last year that I had an idea. The idea is called Cause Over Life, and it's taken months to get it into a place where we're almost ready to launch. Cause Over Life will be a UK charity, and the whole point is to be a resource hub, um, a landing point, peer support, all of this sort of stuff here in the UK, but not just Scientology, but other cults and coercive groups. I started working on this maybe May, uh, June, something like that um, of this time. Hold on. Um... Someone's texted me. Sorry. Um, yeah, so like May, June, I came up with the idea and then started talking about it and then worked on it. I don't know about the US. I cannot comment on how charities work in the US. But in the UK, when you start a charity, your uh, governing document, which is like your articles of association and all of that, that says, yes, we're going to be a company. Um, that governing document becomes legally binding. And as a charity, your success as a charity and whether you've been achieving your charitable aims every year is assessed based on your governing document. So it's really, really important. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, so it's really, really important that your governing document is correct and it's right and it's ironed out from the get go. So it's taken a while because we wanted to figure out, OK, what am I actually trying to do here? What's the purpose of the charity? What am I trying to do? Why are we doing this? So on. So we took several months to figure all that out. And then I thought, OK, let's have a resource hub. Let's have books. Let's have videos. Let's have photos. All of the resources that are currently out there that can help people in their recovery journey and healing from Scientology. Let's put it into a central place and a central resource. Guys, do you have any idea how many thousands and thousands of documents, reports, articles, books, lectures, videos, podcasts are out there about Scientology that could potentially help someone in some way? It's a mammoth task and it's taken months and it's still got a lot of way to go. When I launched the idea several months ago, it was just an idea. We were still figuring out exactly what it was we were trying to achieve and what we're trying to do. We have our first board meeting next week, actually, and I can't wait to share more of that with you. But when I don't talk about something for a while or I do lots of like back and forth and I'm, you know, teasing stuff and not saying too much, there's a reason. It's because I'm working on it behind the scenes. And when the time is right, I'll share it with you. Hi, Catherine. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> Alex, I was taking a nice, peaceful nap. And I woke up and I saw... Well, buddy, you got it. Right here, right now. I'm angry. Real angry. So I figured you could use somebody <laughs> to help Thank you. Thank you. I'm just done. I'm <laughs> done with this shit. I understand. I understand. I was looking at some of the comments. And, um, yeah, hold on. Let me... Hold on. Let's just read this one. Alex, dude, you're coming off as a raving lunatic. Stop now. Take <laughs> okay, a wait, deep wait, breath. Don't, and don't, some thoughts don't block about it what yet. you want to say and how best to articulate what you want to say. Well, what I want to say don't is block it yet. fuck don't off. Block it yet. <laughs> don't block him yet. <laughs> oh, I did. I sorry. I'm oh, too late. Oh, you did already? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I understand. I'm, I'm just so everybody knows. I'm not just laughing at Alex. I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how many we've had several conversations in the last 24 hours. So <laughs> I know what's going on. I know the score. And guys, I'm just looking at the chat. There's a lot of hating at Aaron right now. Please, can we refrain from doing that? 
right? This yeah. isn't a video where I'm saying Aaron's a dick or anything like that, because like I've said before, I support anybody and everybody who's on this fight to try and take down Scientology and stop this current and, and ongoing abuse and suffering, right? Alex, you, you made me come on your own up. opinions, huh? Alex, you made me come on a live stream with a zit. I just want you to know. Oh. <laughs> you can have your own opinions. I did it for you. What's about Aaron? And that's absolutely fine. But my chat is not a place to be, you know, accusing other people of different things and attacking other creators, whether or not it's me or someone else. Please refrain from that because that rhetoric doesn't help anybody. Yeah. Right? How do you think it made me feel? When I woke up this morning, and this isn't you, Catherine, I'm talking to the stream. Um, no, no, when no. I woke up this morning um, and saw dozens of comments saying you're a fake victim, you're a liar, you're a grifter, you're a fraud and all of this. When I'm still processing uh, the talk I did on Monday where I first talked about for the first time ever publicly my attempted suicide. Like people don't realize what's going on behind the scenes and yeah. the impact these things have on people's mental health. It doesn't help anybody. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and it, all it helps. And we've said this before, we've, we've, we've talked about this several times on your stream, on your, uh, on your channel. All, all it does is it, it, it helps Scientology. And I know people like to say, you know, okay, well, you just say, you just get paranoid and say, oh, is everywhere and blah, blah, blah. Well, it's, <laughs> I don't. I don't think OSA is everywhere, but I do think that that OSA and Scientology is behind um, the major split or the major splits in this community. And I'm I'm a very I'm very new to this community because I was up until 2021, I was in the Sea Org and I was a Scientologist, and mm -hmm. and I got out because partly because of people who go on YouTube and tell their stories. It's not that people go on YouTube and trash other people or try to say how this or that person is not legit or blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, blah. That's not that it doesn't, that doesn't help people get out. Okay, fine. You have, if somebody has a personal problem with somebody or somebody has a problem, fine, have a problem. But, but this, this, uh, this community doesn't exist to foster drama. <laughs> Yeah. Mary really Gabriel suffers. I just wanted to bring this up. Alex, you can be angry. However, I feel totally insulted by this. Keep up your good work, but don't forget you're upsetting us who have supported you to get going on YouTube. Well, Mary, look, Mary's been a big supporter of mine. She's always in the chats and always commenting and all of that. And I really appreciate your support, Mary. And thank you. Um, I'm not I I apologize if this has insulted you, but um, I'm not aiming this at you guys who are supporting me. I'm not aiming at this at the people who have been helping my channel grow right? The whole existence of my channel is about the topic, is about the activism. And I've had enough. When I've had so many messages today calling me a fake victim and blah, 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 like this is not what I signed up for. So I've yeah. come on live to do this one off. This is how I feel about stuff. And this is why I'm angry. And that's it. From yeah, tomorrow, and, and, and normal don't programming realize, will resume. <laughs> people don't realize how much has happened, um, how, how much has happened that you don't see on YouTube, how much has yeah. actually occurred in the real world, not not just on 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 YouTube, where it's like anybody can represent themselves as anyone else. Hardly anyone goes by their own name. Somebody, one person can make you know 50, 50 handles and like and like start like on all these different. And look like 50 different people and it's one person yeah exactly for example it's not I, i'm sorry but this <laughs> yeah yeah um blue do blue thank you so much for the super chat your work speaks for itself you've exactly. made a great impact in the short time you've been doing this anyone trying to tear you down should take that energy and focus it on taking down search scientology instead of you exactly and exactly this is one and that was the point that was yeah. the point that's that Stephanie made in that article is that you are doing good work. So why is anybody who's also doing claims to be doing or is doing or has done in the past similar work as you, why are they spending any time trying to tear you down? Yeah. And, and also it's like, it, it does, there isn't a right way or a wrong way. Like 
I've been working really hard at this, yes, but so have so many other people, right? Yeah. When I did the protest in November, I made it really clear that it's like, look, if it wasn't for everyone that showed up that was there with me, it would just be me standing at the side of the road, you know, maybe with PTS for life, Jeff, because he was there. But like, we'd just be standing there a bit sad doing our own thing. Like, we couldn't do this without everybody else, right? And that's where the focus is. Yeah, it's not on the infighting or whatever else you want to call it. But here, you know, you should focus your energy on taking down the Church of Scientology. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And that's why I don't cover this shit on my channel. Exactly. Because that's exactly. where I'm directing my energy. I don't have the time to be watching or paying attention to half of the live streams that go on all day, every day, because I've literally got much better things to worry about in my life. But that yeah. doesn't mean that those people don't have merit and their efforts don't help. And they're not, you know, conducive towards taking down the cult. Everybody has merit in whatever way they want to do it. It's all valuable and it's all important. Kelly at large, you're allowed to have and express real human emotions. I'm sorry you're having to take time and energy away from your work to deal with this drama. Thank you. And me too. I yeah, wasn't going to go live today. But I, 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 I'm, I'm surprised that you that you haven't said anything up until now because what's there's been there's been a lot more occur that people have no idea they just what happens is is there's a there's a there's a cult of personality that's being followed by people and they go oh well i like this guy so i'm on this guy's i'm on you know team aaron and it's like okay no we're on team take down scientology and help people recover who are involved in scientology that's that's the team where we all should be on yeah like <laughs> it's i do pretty simple no. I have my and personal if you're not, then I don't know. Get out. <laughs> I have my personal friendships, my personal disagreements with people, and that's absolutely fine. And that's not something that I'm going to publicize on YouTube because it's that's not why I'm here, right? And there are creators that I'm closer with, and, and other creators I'm not so close with. Yeah. But ultimately, I'll support anyone and everybody. One thing that someone asked me yesterday, I saw in a comment somewhere. <clears throat> why? excuse me why is a alex must clearly be in bed with mike mark and tony ortega and chris shelton because he only ever retweets their stuff um well firstly yeah some of those people are my friends and and some of them i know more than others but i'm not retweeting these people's stuff because uh you know they're i'm you know they're my friends like I'm retweeting them because they're putting articles out or they're covering the work that I'm doing here in the UK. If Aaron or any of the other creators were to do YouTube videos or blog posts or anything about my activism, I would retweet those too, irrespective of personal agreements or disagreements. Right. Because I look above that because it's about the mission. It's about the message, the activism. You're not a, you're not a drama channel. And, exactly. And, 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 uh, a lot of those people that you mention are also not into profiting yeah. off of off of the drama. They they just keep exposing Scientology. I just want to They're clarify here, Mary job. Gabriel saw this is back. Alex says he doesn't give a fuck about what other people think. I know he's annoyed and he might feel better after it, but I don't feel good hearing he doesn't give a flying fuck. I may unsubscribe. And Mary, you are more than entitled to unsubscribe. It's completely up to you. But when I say I don't give a flying fuck, it's not about I don't give a flying fuck about what you guys think or, or what you guys are doing or your support or not support. I'm saying I don't give a flying fuck if people... Um, you know, don't like me or if people want to throw hate at me or say that I'm this or that, like, I don't give a flying fuck about those people's opinions, right? Because I'm not in this yeah. to be liked or to yeah. get followers or whatever. I'm doing this to raise awareness. I'm not saying I don't give a flying fuck about you guys and my supporters and subscribers. So I just want to clarify that, Mary. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like um, there was, there was a live stream a while back where, 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 Mike was talking about keyboard warriors. Okay. Maybe that was never clarified, but what he, what he was talking about was people Thank that go know. on. He was talking about trolls and he was talking about the people that, that specifically have like all these other IDs and represent themselves as like all these other people and just try to stir up stuff. He wasn't talking about actual supporters. He was not talking about actual supporters and, and anyone who's followed any, of his of his content or his story or anything he's he's extremely um he's extremely sorry i'm not fully awake what's the word i'm looking for 
he's <laughs> he has a lot of gratitude for people that that support him and for people that support this 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 cause and anyway yeah i think you know what i'm saying <laughs> No, I get I get what you're saying. Um here. So hey Joe says if he tells the truth about Aaron, he worries he will be even less popular. Um, Joe, I, I'm sorry, I disagree. Like it's not that I'm standing here and withholding truth or not saying anything about Aaron or whatever, because this stream isn't about Aaron. And it's not about whether I'll be popular or not popular. I've made that very, very clear throughout this whole video, right? I have my personal disagreements with certain people. Um all I will say, and I'm just going to put it out there, I've not done a single video at all about any other creator attacking or supporting, yeah. right? I've done yeah. videos about my activism, my story. I've given other people a platform to tell their story. I haven't done a single video, positive or negative, about any other person. Exactly. There are creators who have made multiple videos attacking me, and that's fine. You're entitled to do that. That's the beauty of YouTube. But what I'm saying is that's not what I'm here for. And it's not that I'm not dishing the dirt on Aaron because it will make me less popular. It's that I'm not here for that reason. Right. I, I'm not going to do that because, it's frankly, personal relationships with people are personal and private anyway. And secondly, I'm not dishing the dirt because who does that benefit? No one exactly i've not attacked a single creator and i will continue to not attack an, a, a single creator we're all all on the same mission those creators can uh, can decide that they don't like me and they can decide that they want to create hate videos and all that fine be my guest that's the beauty of youtube is freedom of speech i'm not the person that's going to censor conversation or control the narrative or whatever please make attack yeah. videos against me i don't care I'm here and I'm not going to let it distract me from what I'm doing. Fangirl Jen, thank yeah. you for the super chat. Sorry, go on, Catherine. The other thing, um, when people when talk when people talk about their 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 freedom of speech being suppressed or however they're talking about that, um, if you if you that if you look at the First Amendment in the U.S. at least, it's very it's 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 extremely specific. It's talking about the government it's talking about the government restricting freedom of speech it's not talking about individuals that don't want to hear what you have to say or private companies that don't want to listen to you or private platforms that say no you're not going to talk about that on my platform it's specifically talking about the government so when <laughs> when people get into this you're you're stopping my freedom of speech thing i'm like no i don't think you'd fully understand what that means Anyway, it's just uh Fangirl, thank you so much for the super chat. Alex, I'm so proud of you and the work you do. Ignore the haters who are unable to achieve anything substantial on their own. You are making a difference every day. Well, thank you. And I'd like to reiterate, it's not just me. I couldn't do this without you guys. Right? It's not about me. I'm not yes, no. there are many times where I feel very alone and I feel like I'm doing this on my own out here in the UK and there are people who support me and so on, but like, you know ultimately it's a team effort and everybody has their own thing to contribute and their own merit and their own value so thank you for that message but it's not about me it like we're all doing our own bit and helping in whatever way we can daniel chamberlain everyone's story has merit it doesn't matter if one has been in for two months or a lifetime it doesn't matter what matters is the core mission to help get people out of the cult i couldn't have worded it better myself daniel breathe um <laughs> linda lou who i'm appreciating your honesty what can you tell us about the alleged stalking of one or more members of sptv that's a great question and i'm glad you asked it linda lou who thank you and the answer is I don't have a fucking clue because when I started speaking out, I first shared my story on Chris Shelton's channel and then I went on Doug Kramer's Days Were Not Confused. Um, I've appeared on Aaron's channel three or four times, I think, in total. I've appeared on lots of channels talking about my experience. And when I first started speaking out, I messaged a bunch of people and said, hey, guys, you know, I've just come into this new SPTV thing and I want to, 
you know, be a part of this and do what I can to help. You've got to remember, I was one of the first few SPTV people back in a year ago. There were only, there were less than 20 channels when I first started speaking out. And now there's like 40 or 50. So yeah, I messaged a few people and said, you know, I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Aaron actually um, told me once, he was like, I'll help you in any way that I can. Just let me know if you ever want to do a live together. And after not being able to get through to him on the phone, he was like, dude, just text me because I, sometimes I don't pick up the phone. OK, cool. So I texted him a few times and then he's busy. He didn't respond. You know, we're all busy with our own things here and there. Like, absolutely um, fine. And so for him to say that I'm stalking people, I don't know. I don't have any comment on that because um, I, I haven't stalked anybody. Um, at all uh pts jeff thank you for jumping in here alex helped me lots when i started my channel thank you jeff and that's what i'm all about is trying to help people in any way that i can like i said if it's all about me i would have created a channel about all the celebrity gossip and drama that i experience on a daily basis with my job <laughs> <laughs> let's read through some more of these um care for jc yet yt just because someone has a lot of subs doesn't mean they're all right all the time i'm sticking to the small right. ones mostly. i'm appalled by the mob mentality i so appreciate how you've stayed focused exactly you know i popped into Pearl on the ghost channel earlier and um and and sent a couple of messages and got instantly shot down and attacked and it's like are you on mike's side or are you on aaron's side and blah 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 and i'm like i just don't subscribe to any of that shit okay I, I have to my say thing. something I have to say something because people keep mentioning this keyboard warrior thing. Fine, you can you can look at it however you want and be be upset about it if you want to be upset about it, or you can believe what I say or not and uh, whatever. Uh, you, you can. Yes, that is what Mike was really trying to say, and if you look at all the other dozens of videos he's done, um that they don't follow with with thinking that 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 he's like saying things towards people that are that have supported him or supported the aftermath foundation it just doesn't follow it doesn't follow with with the rest of what he's done so whatever i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep arguing about it it's just something that's so completely irrelevant to anything yeah. and everything that i'm doing like I don't have any comment on it because yeah. I don't know, like what's it got to do with me? Absolutely nothing, yeah. you know, and people are welcome to have a debate and talk about it and question it. Like that's absolutely fine. I encourage that, but like, that's not what my channel is for. That's not why I'm here. Have yeah. that debate and discussion elsewhere. Like it's not, yeah 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 the, the the drama the drama stuff is really just for the views because if if you look at it, if you if you look at it, it's like somebody talks about something on their channel and then the next and then the next channel talks about the same thing and the next channel talks about the same thing and the next channel does like a a a, a review of it or and the next channel does a reaction to it and you're just like it's just like an echo chamber going around and around, and around. <laughs> they're all talking about the same thing when they should be talking about taking down scientology or they should be retelling their story their scientology story or whatever it's that that's what it's about that's why anyone watches any of this stuff they don't i don't know if they if they feel like their their stories got stale or something or yeah. I, I don't know what <laughs> i don't understand yeah. anyway I... cell phone the ironic part is that aaron says levin seems like he's actually helping alex because no one even knows who alex is until aaron spoke about him lol <laughs> well actually no so i was first on chris shelton's channel and then i was on doug kramer's channel yeah. and i had almost a thousand subscribers before i ever first appeared on aaron's channel and at the beginning yes aaron did a couple of videos with me and he said anything you need and you know if you ever want to come and do a video with me just text me and i did and he ended up um not responding to half of those texts and then giving me a call in the middle of the night which again we won't get into because this is not what i'm hearing it's a private conversation and so on but aaron is not someone i've spoken to since whenever the live stream that was meant to be with amy scobie was that october or september something i haven't spoken to him since then and so it's a lie to say that he's supporting me uh behind the scenes because he, he's not and that's not yeah. an attack that's not a criticism that's just a matter of fact right we, we're different people you know we're not we're not best friends we don't talk all day every day and that's fine <laughs> that's absolutely exactly. fine exactly exactly <sighs> breathe right 
let's read one more of these. Jennifer, learning about life. I disagree. I actually watch Aaron says there's two foundations. You can support both. You don't have to choose. The more foundations, the more help. How is that vacuum? Exactly. The more people, exactly. the better. The more help there is, the more channels there are, the more viewpoints there are, the more people that are going to be helped by this whole cause and by this message. So I encourage anybody and everybody to speak out and do what they can and start their own foundations and so on. The reason the Cause Over Life Foundation hasn't started just yet is because it's been a lot of work in the process. And if we started um, and, and registered as a charity from day one, we would be, we would be getting assessed on whether or not we've helped people. And if we haven't, for example, got the resource hub ready to go, we can have a tough time proving that we've helped people yeah. before we've got that ready. So the whole point is get it ready so that when we launch, the moment we launch, we're helping people straight away. Boo, thank you so much for the super chat. I heard there's an MI5 plant in Osa. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot oh. confirm nor deny. No, <laughs> no I no, I hi highly, highly doubt it. Yeah. But, I, I, yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, I know most the, of the OSA, the OSA international staff. If everybody, if 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 anyone wants to ask, wants to ever ask me about any Zurg members in LA, especially anyone who who works or worked in the Hollywood Guarantee Building, that's where I was for twenty five years. So, I know I know everybody there. I know all the all the dirty tricks people. Yeah, and they they and and some of them, some of them, maybe not all of them. Um think that they're doing the right thing they think that they're defending scientology which is the only thing that's going to save the planet blah 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 blah. i'm sure there's some that don't believe that mm -hmm. but a lot of them do just like every other seerg member and staff member thinks that that they're saving the world by doing what they're doing yeah. and i just want to bring this up patrick has anyone else wondered my why mike window won't answer miriam's questions okay not, let me say something you, about this hold on let me just, let me just say no, very no, briefly no no very briefly <laughs> I just want to say this conversation is nothing to do with anything that we're talking about. That's not exactly. Anything to do with my exactly. Channel, but let me just say one thing. I want, I... Please take that conversation <laughs> elsewhere. Yes. But okay. let me just say one thing, which is not every conversation occurs on YouTube in front of an audience. Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. And like, you know, with regard to Mike and Miriam's questions, all of this sort of stuff, like I want to encourage the debate and discussion around anything and everything. Right. I'm not controlling the narrative. I'm not, you know, we're not in a cult anymore. We can, there's freedom of speech and all of that. There are places for that discussion and that place is not here on my channel. I've not done a single video about any of that because there's nothing to do with what I'm doing here in the UK, trying to raise awareness and help people leave and escape from Scientology. So exactly. Please don't bring exactly. that up in my chat because it's it's it's, it's irrelevant to yeah. anything that I'm doing. That doesn't mean the conversation is irrelevant. That doesn't mean they shouldn't have that conversation. But this isn't the place for that is what I'm saying. Yeah, people can have all the conversations they want on YouTube, off YouTube, whatever. But if you're going to if you're going to comment or be upset about somebody else's conversation or what happened with somebody else, and maybe you don't have all the information because not everything takes place on YouTube and not everything that somebody says just because they have 250,000 subscribers or a million subscribers or 2 billion subscribers. It doesn't mean that everything they say is true. Mm -hmm. Or they have one subscriber. It doesn't mean that just because they say it, it doesn't mean it's true. It doesn't mean that's what actually yeah. occurred. And that's all the information. Yeah. When I try and push for, for subscribers or followers or comments or likes, it's yes, because I want to grow the channel. But why do I want to grow the channel? Because I want the message to reach more people, right? I didn't know about this community of ex-Scientologists until I came across it on YouTube. And it was really helpful for me in my recovery. So, yeah, I want to do that. I want, I want to grow the channel because I want more people to see yeah. this content. Not because I want to be YouTube famous or an influencer or any of that sort of shit. Breathe. I'm going to play this one more time just because it's Well, fun. buddy, you got it. Right here, right now. I'm angry. Real angry. One thing I do want to cover before we start wrapping up, because I said this is the one and only video I'm going to be doing about all this shit. 
Yeah. A lot of people ask me about Goldie, right? Why I didn't do a live stream about the Goldie situation and the merch and all of that. So let me just, if you don't mind, Catherine, just, just spiel for a second. Goldie was moderating for a bunch of our channels, right? She was moderating for Aaron, for me. She was doing it pretty much full time. She was doing a great job. She was a wonderful moderator and never let any of her personal views um, known on any of the live chats or anything. No one was paying her for that time that she was spending doing it. She was spending eight hours a day moderating live streams. And I earn a couple hundred bucks a month from YouTube ad, ad revenue, even less so back then. And I thought it was a bit um, upsetting that Goldie was giving all of this time to helping all of us and wasn't being paid for it in any way, shape or form, especially by the bigger channels who earn enough money that they could be paying her. Now, she never asked to be paid. Absolutely. But if it was me, if I was earning a thousand, two thousand dollars a day, I would whether or not she wanted it, I would give her a bunch of money. You know, I'd pay her a couple of hundred bucks or whatever every month to say thank you. Now, I realized no one was supporting her and she didn't have a buy me a coffee. So I spoke to her and we came up with some merch. So I had my merch store and I put some Goldie merch that she kind of helped me come up with. And I thought if people want to support Goldie to say thank you for all of this work you're doing, you can buy some merch and all of the money goes to her. So the reason I had that merch up was because no one was supporting her um, financially for all the work that she was doing. And I thought this is a way for people to give back. And the moment I found out about all the stuff with Goldie, I took the merch down and removed her as a moderator and we move on. And then people were calling on me going, Alex was such a big supporter of Goldie and like, why didn't he do a, a live stream about Goldie and blah, blah, blah. He of all people should do. It's like, no, no, no. The only reason I had merch was because none of you lot were fucking paying her or contributing towards the time <laughs> that she was spending helping us all. The merch wasn't me giving her money or me contributing the merch was for you guys to give her money right because she didn't have a coffee buy me a coffee at the time and i didn't yeah. do a live chat or, or a q a about it because it's totally irrelevant to everything that i'm doing my channel is about scientology the abuse right. exposing the abuse stopping further suffering not about the drama or the infighting or the this and that creator said this this person said this like this is the only video I'm going to be doing about any of this shit because that's not what my channel is for. Yeah. So if you guys have any more further questions for me before we wrap up, please get them in the Q&A now because I'm not going to address this again. Rose Kate, I watch and like Alex. Don't watch or like Mike Grinder. It doesn't matter who I like or watch. It's all personal. And thank you yeah. so much for the super chat, Rose. And sure. that's so true. You know, there is no team Alex, team Mike, team Mark, team Claire, team Aaron. That's the beauty of YouTube. You can subscribe to as many or as few people as you like and engage with them in any way that you can or want to. Like, that, yeah, I encourage you to subscribe to every other YouTube creator on SPTV because we're all trying to do the same thing. Even if I don't personally like someone, please subscribe to them because <laughs> they're trying to help do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well said. Trying to see if there's anything else in here that we need to answer. So many comments. Thank you, everybody. And breathe. <laughs> Catherine, what are your thoughts on all of this that's been going down the last few days? I, I well, for one, I like that I like the way that you've been handling things because you don't react and you don't at least publicly you know <laughs> you, you don't react and you don't you haven't made it about you and you haven't like um you haven't gotten into all the drama yeah exactly Boo, yes good. thank you for the super chat absolutely email me hello at apostatealex.com uh absolutely would appreciate that help thank you oh cool web development but, um, sure. okay. yeah, that's great yeah, Catherine, no, like getting into all the drama all of that like i have my friends absolutely behind the scenes like you we talk quite a lot because we're we're close and we're friends and and you know there are people who i open up to and talk to about my personal feelings and stuff but i don't go talking to people or spreading rumors or stirring the pot or anything because quite frankly i don't have the fucking time i've like 
I yesterday yeah. I was ill, but the day before that, like if you could see my schedule, like I'm working 10 hours a day on various things at the moment. If I can find the time to do a live stream on YouTube, I will like fantastic. But like, yeah. I just don't have the time to even worry about what other people are saying or doing. But today I just, for me, that was the end of it for me. I'm like, this is, I've, I'm, I've burst. I'm done. I'm fed up with it because people are literally commenting on my channel saying that I'm a fake victim and all of this sort of stuff. It's like, fuck off. Right. <laughs> like, how is this yeah. helpful to anybody? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I mean, there's, Thank there's you, people, Pete. there's people that have never, there's, there's so many people that have never even been involved in Scientology who, who support um, exposing the abuses and helping people recover and, and, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And, and even, even if there's like some part of your story, that's like, people don't know about, okay, so what? Yeah. You're still Betsy doing Sue, work. Betsy Sue, Jennifer in the chat is trying to apologize. Well, I don't know who Jennifer is or what uh, Jennifer yeah, is trying to apologize for, for but, um, but thank you. Um, I don't know who Jennifer is or why they're apologizing, but thank you. I appreciate that. And no hard feelings. We're all good. Um, AGT mom, yes. Who has time for all that drama? Precisely. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of people do have time for all that drama. <laughs> Jennifer, it's me. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, oh. you. I don't know what you're apologizing for, but I accept your apology. It's all gravy. We're all good. <laughs> all fine. Yeah, see, and there's a never end. I support all former Scientologists. That I think that's so cool. That that when when people have never been involved in the in the support Scientology and and because because I do work for the foundation, I talk to people like that all the time. There's there's someone who 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 called in to the foundation who had just happened to see the billboard and and in the brief time that the billboard was up in L.A., she called in and she's like, I was just wondering, you know, if I could volunteer, if I could do anything because I saw the billboard go up and then I saw that it, it went down and I was like, oh no. And I was wondering if I could do anything. And she found out about us through that billboard. She's never been involved in Scientology. She has her own life. And she just wants to help people. <laughs> and it's like, it's fantastic. Yeah. And there's stuff like that all the time. Yeah. And I think also what a lot of people don't realize is how, like, what people see on YouTube is such a small proportion of what actually goes on behind the scenes, you know. And, yeah. and people see little snippets here and there, like prime example, Kelicopter, right? So Kelicopter didn't come to the protest in November, the IES protest in November outside St. Hill. And I invited her and beforehand she messaged me and she said, you know what? I don't want to go because it's going to reinvigorate trauma and I've not been there since I was a kid. and I've got really bad experiences there. So I'm not in a place where I think it's, you know, going to be any good for me to go there, but I wish you all the best and I support you. And I said, thank you, no problem. And I even talked about that in three live streams before, during and after the protest, because people were saying, why wasn't Kelicopter there? And I was like, well, because she didn't want to be in the place where she was abused as a child, which is completely yeah. reasonable. Um, but somehow that's been twisted and turned over time to apparently me telling people that Kelly didn't even bother to show up. I've never said that. And in fact, I've always supported her and said, look, please, wow. I would hate for you to feel like you have to go somewhere that's going to trigger you. And all, like, But just because people see and, and hear snippets of bits and bobs here and there and they twist it and they get their own... Um, misunderstanding or misinterpretation of stuff like what you see on youtube is so small like i'm not going to do a live stream every time i text aaron or kelicopter or you or anyone else because it's private conversations right and i'm yeah. going to be here on youtube doing content about my activism i'm going to continue doing that i'm not going to do content about this shit so if there's any more questions that anyone wants to ask me about any of this ongoing saga or drama or any of this Please get them in now because I'm not going to do another stream about this. And I just, I'm just dumb. I'm fed up with it all. Learning about life. I want to support all YouTube who are against Scientology, but I don't like the drama and support people who do not do that. You, Alex, do support you 100%. And you make a difference. Thank you. I think everybody makes a difference. Everybody. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's no right or wrong yeah, way. Um, there. So yeah, yeah go on. no, there's one in here that I want to say something back to, but it's just, it's just again getting into the <laughs> the 
the weeds. So, so, so when when Rinder, Matt, Stephanie, etc. Okay, little little Bo beats little Bo beats hearts and sheep feet. I like that handle, by the way. Anyway, um, okay, you should watch watch more of Aaron's stuff where he talks trash about people because that's finally claps back in an AMA. He is once again what. Yeah, I don't I I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> when Rinder, Matt, Stephanie, etc. attack Aaron for months, that's all good. When he finally claps back in an AMA, he is once again the devil. The hypocrisy is ripe here. Well, Aaron's been attacking me for months. I think the first attack video he did against me was November. So, you know, it it's not like it's not all one sided where these people have made I mean, content about yeah, Aaron and then yeah. there's nothing in return. Like Aaron has done multiple videos saying things about me. But the whole point is it's not a tally or a score. We're not keeping track. Like, who cares? Like, that's the whole point is this conversation is irrelevant. You can like yeah, someone, not like true. someone, support someone, not support someone. What I'm trying to do on this channel is help people escape and leave and stop the currently ongoing suffering and abuse. Yeah. If you want the drama, all of that, go elsewhere. Go to the other channels. That's fine. I yeah. actually encourage you to do that, but you're not going to be getting that from me. Zit Pop Zimba. God evening, brother Alex. Please keep focused on what you're doing. There are many of us who appreciate you and all you do to educate those of us who have never been in a cult. Well, thank you so much for joining, and I'm going to continue doing that. And this will likely be the last you hear um from me on all this sort of shit uh barb tries alex i respect you and i'm glad for you that you got this off your chest thank you and thank you for uh for being here and listening um you know i don't flip very often but i flipped because i'm i was angry but i'm it's done now it's out there <laughs> <laughs> and no one's asking me any more questions um about any of this which surprised me to be honest because there are a number of things that people have been emailing me about and you know kelly copter and marilyn and being like why haven't you addressed this and why haven't you done this blah 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 it's like well uh, no one's asked me about it um and so there are a number of things like that that they've uh they've asked me about and and no one's asked me on this live stream here so you know, if it's really that much of a problem, then, um, you know, I would expect people to ask me about oh these things. My okay, I'm going to... Hold on a second. Thank you, Rob Jones, for your super chat. Um, All right, let's start wrapping this up. OBG Foster, is it true that LRH won St. Hill at Poker Game? <laughs> I've not heard that before. I don't think that is true. <laughs> But, guys, thank you for bearing with me ranting. <laughs> Catherine. Yeah, I, I figured you need... Sorry, excuse me. I figured you needed a, a, a someone to come on here with you so you weren't just yelling at your screen. <laughs> yelling at my screen. You, you, can, you can yell at and, me instead. And for those of you who are asking about my story and why I got kicked out and all of that, there are so many misunderstandings and misinterpretations of how I got kicked out and then I rejoined and then got kicked out again and there are some key fundamental things that have been absolutely misunderstood and forgotten or changed over time and I would encourage you guys to watch the live stream I did with Catherine a year ago February last year where we go through all of the documents from my time on staff and you can see exactly what led to me being kicked out and so on I also recently came across a bunch of a, a bunch of new documents <laughs> I didn't even realize I had. Sorry, I'm just looking at the comments. Somebody said, "Somebody said, Catherine, you're a legend. Can I donate to Catherine?" <laughs> Look, I'm going to start a channel. I keep on not yeah. starting a channel because because of I keep seeing all this drama go on, and I'm like, okay, if I start a channel, I don't want to talk about any of this stuff, but it's really hard not to talk about any of it. So I'm yeah. I need to somehow not talk about it it's so that hard. I kind of go into like oh maybe I shouldn't say anything maybe I should no maybe I should just stay off of it but I am going to start one because I I do and and I'm I'm going to start it with with the purpose of of talking more about my experiences in Scientology and talking about my life after the Sea Org with the purpose of reaching many many people and many friends I have that are still in the Sea Org 
and and I know if they see me talking, I can get through to some people. That's yeah, my purpose. Exactly. Um, so I came across a bunch of documents recently that I didn't even know I had. This is one of them. I can't move my finger because it's covering up someone's name um, and data protection, all of that. But this yeah. is an example pay slip from my time in Scientology. You can see here. How much is it? Know, Church of Scientology, disimbursement voucher. Total of, oh, that was September 2013. £3.60. <laughs> How much is that in dollars? Four dollars fifty. Like four bucks. I also, wow. and again, I don't know if I can actually share this on camera. Let me see if I can cover things up or not. Um, it might be too difficult. I'll, I'll have to like. I'll have yes, to figure yes, out where they are, there are under the data, radar. But I have a. Right. Um, I have a um, from HMRC, the tax office. I have um, a record of all the money that I earned from the years that I was being paid as a staff member at St. Yeah. of London. And you can see that it was like a couple of hundred quid. So I'll share that in due course as well. But I was hey, shared you, a bunch you, of documents and I will share more. Um, your your subscribers are making me want to start my channel because they, they're Do saying it. interesting things to me. Do they're, it. they're encouraging me. So I at least have like at least five subscribers I can get. <laughs> Without a doubt. The moment you start your channel, we'll do enough but, lives. But see, somebody said think... somebody said, in my opinion, there's a lot of under the radar Scientologists watching these channels. And I, I think so too. And I yeah. think there's also under the radar Sjurg members watching these channels. Be and you know how I know? Because I was one of them. Yeah. And and this drama and attacking each other doesn't help anybody. You know, it yeah. really puts people off. It put me off for a long time, you know, for speaking out and reaching out for help and all of this. So, you know, that's that's all I'll say. Um when <laughs> It's late. I should go to bed. Um, when Jeff PTS for life also hello Jennifer. Thank you for becoming a new member. Um, when Jeff PTS for life started his channel, I did a bunch of live streams with him, and I was like, "Look, let's get you to a thousand subs so you can get monetized." And we did it quite quickly. And I'm happy to help anybody and everybody through that. So, Catherine, when you want to start your channel, let me know. We'll yeah, you know, you can just best. put my just just put my link in the. I, okay, I have a channel. I just haven't put anything on it yet. It has a playlist of like all my interviews and everything I've appeared on on in YouTube on everything I've appeared in on YouTube. So you can put it in the in the description. Anyone can subscribe. Oh, I, I will start it. soon. I don't know it's if I've got name. the link. Okay, well, set, we'll, well, I'll add it to the description um, <laughs> after this. But look, guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I've always said, if you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee is the best way of doing it with the link in the description down below because they don't take nearly as much as YouTube do. Thank you, everybody, for your live chats and super chats and all of that sort of stuff. Um, I'm now going to return to um, regular programming and I'm <laughs> going to continue not commenting on any of this shit because it's completely irrelevant to what I'm doing. Right. Exactly. I'm going to continue working day in, day out to try and expose and stop the suffering and abuse that happens in Scientology. I'm going to continue lobbying Parliament, lobbying East Grinstead Town Council. Um, there's a major press thing that's coming out very, very soon that I'm hoping uh, will bring some more eyes on to this. But that's what I'm going to continue doing. If you have any further questions for me about any of this, please email me hello at apostatealex.com. Like I said, I'm more than happy to go on other channels and do interviews with people and so on. But that's not what my channel is for. So I'm not going to yeah. be doing any more videos about this. But if other people want to do a video about it on their channel and have me on as a guest, absolutely, I'm up for it. The thing is, no one's asked me. So, you know. Oh, there you go. Maybe I'll we... ask you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will say the one thing that I've been ending all of my live streams with, and that is I'm on war footing and I'm not fucking about. <laughs>